In this morning's Health Watch, we are looking at an unusual therapy for Parkinson's disease. The neurological disorder affects one in every 100 people age 60 and older. It's more common in men than women. Symptoms include tremors, muscle stiffness, slow movement, and problems with balance and coordination. Meg Oliver shows us how a beloved game can help both body and soul. Three years ago, Robin Seltzer was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The once athletic 67-year-old symptoms were so bad he could barely get out of bed. I kind of was in the middle of COVID. I couldn't get access to a doctor. So how I, bad did it get? I lost 70 pounds. Uh, it, I, I was <laughs> flapping. Along with physical therapy and medication to manage symptoms like tremors, stiffness, and slowness, Dr. Alana Klar at Hackensack University Medical Center offered a surprising option. When your doctor first said you should do ping pong, what was your reaction? My reaction was, how could that help anybody? Ping pong has clearly been shown to have a positive impact on their progression of the disease and in a way that the medication alone is not doing. Dr. Clara and neuropsychologist Elizabeth Kara co-founded the New Jersey chapter of Ping Pong Parkinson, a nonprofit with more than 200 chapters in 26 countries, including an international competition. How does ping pong help? A Parkinson's patient. Areas involved in motor planning also have ties to other areas of the brain that impact those cognitive skills that we see impacted in Parkinson's disease, things like the planning, the problem solving. And so when we're playing ping pong, we know that those areas of the brain end up being activated. While all forms of exercise are beneficial, the thing that makes ping pong unique is that it incorporates a focus on balance, hand-eye coordination, and the rhythm or pace of reciprocal play. So it really hits the trifecta of physical, cognitive, and social activities. Every Tuesday night in River Edge, New Jersey, Parkinson's patients, or pongers as they're called, play with volunteers of all ages called hitters. There's a tendency if you're Parkinsonian to stand like this. Right. And this forces you... To move. To move. Right? Yeah. You're yeah. forcing me to move. Oh! She's a ringer. <laughs> <laughs> when I start up, I'm a little stiff. My shots are a little bit off. My timing's a little bit off. And I'm a little bit frustrated. Uh -huh. And then after about 15 or 20 minutes, suddenly things kick in. How long does that last in terms of feeling a little bit looser and more relaxed? I'd say it lasts at least a couple of days. The goal is to improve attention, movement, mood, and social connection among people striving to outpace a progressive disease. How has it changed your outlook on the future? It's kind of opened me up to new experiences. Like I've thought over the last few weeks, maybe I could get back on skis. You know, even if it's just going down the bunny slope, I really miss that. This is opening doors. It is. Yes, it is. It's opening doors, and it, it provides a certain amount of imagination. Opening doors and mines. Yeah. Robin told me he finds ping pong so intoxicating he is training for next year's world championships. Yes, that is a thing. When you look at how much his physical condition has improved in the eight months he's been playing, you can bet he's probably going to be there. It's in Greece next really November. Beautiful. What, yeah. I, what I loved about the piece is Robin said that one session gave him positive impacts lasting several days. Days. Yeah. I know. I was surprised at that, too. And he's like a little kid, all of them. When they came in and we were shooting, they were like, move away. We're ready to play. Yeah. Everyone very, just very like, impressive move the cameras. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> very impressive stuff. But speaking of impressive. And speaking of ready to play, um, you got some skills yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Yeah. Okay. That runs in the Did you get family. competitive a little bit? <laughs> just a tad. It was just a little a embarrassing. Tad. The photographer was a little annoyed with me. <laughs> you have a ping pong table in the basement or something? Oh, yeah, growing up. Oh, all of our wow. tradition. Oh, all of our tradition. Is. You got to get one here in the studio. Yeah. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. Meg, thank you so much.